Hi friends, welcome to Crafting and Relaxing. This is Sarah and today we're gonna do a little bit different type of video. I need to deal with this area behind me, which if you've seen in some other videos, it gets to the point where it's deep right here and it begins to slide off. Right now, it looks pretty good and I think I'll insert some video so you can see other times and how it looked there. And I have an idea on how to fix this corner, make it much more useful. It's just gonna take some work. And I'll show you how I had it set up, what I thought was a good idea, and why it changed. And I think it's really good for us to recognize when we, when we set something up and it doesn't work for us, it just doesn't. What happened was after I brought this cabinet in, it was completely empty, I had repainted it and everything, and I brought it in in the fall before the rain came, and it was empty. And I set it up like, I set it up based on what I thought I needed at the time. And I'll show you what's in it and how it's going for me. And if you watch my channel, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And there are definitely some flaws in the way I've set this up. The other thing is I don't have a good way to store my dyes. I have purchased more dyes than I ever thought I would, surprising. And since we're staying at home, I'm not traveling around. So I don't care if they're portable. And you know that I'm not going to do a complex put away system. I'm just not. So I'm going to come up with what Clutterbug would call a butterfly method for storage. And I think it'll work for me. So let's get to work. I want to give you an angle without my head in the way so you can see what this corner looks like right now and then we'll take a look in the drawers it's not overly full it's not too bad i guess but the reality of it is i don't use the stuff Okay, bear with me because I broke the tripod that I usually use and this one is fancier and I don't know how to work it. I set this up with almost all supplies for mailing and happy mail. And what I found is when I go to put together happy mail to send to you guys, I don't look in this cabinet. It doesn't even occur to me. I do not walk over here and open this drawer and look in and go, oh look, I have all these cute little matchbook notepad things that people can decorate. I could put one of those in every Happy Mail. I got those for free from somebody. I have a set of doilies. I have cute little envelopes. I have a stamp set that I picked up for somebody. I, I just, I don't look. I go, I work on whatever giveaway it was or whatever colors and I go down the counter and I fill it up. I don't look in here at all. So I think this plan just isn't working for me. Here's cards that I was using for junk journals or to put washi tape on. Once I put them in here, I forgot they existed. This drawer, too full, it doesn't open. Sometimes it opens, it's not today. The sequins are supposed to be down there. One day I was looking for cute little envelopes everywhere. Turns out this is where I keep them. I thought I would do a an embellishment box for somebody. I probably put this in the back of that drawer months and months ago. Oh, here's my cards. So I have cards in the drawer. When I send things out, it doesn't even occur to me to take one out and put it in there. So clearly not a good system for me, right? I, I'm a butterfly, we know this. I have to be able to see it or it has to be something specific that I will go and reach for. You're always gonna reach for your favorite paper cutter 
or your favorite dye, that kind of thing. It can be out of sight, but just general stuff. I love this little blue tape. I think Kelly sent this to me. I forget about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take everything out of this cabinet. Oh, this, this cupboard down here is worse. It's like a cupboard of shame. You have to be strategic to get stuff out of it. Look, it's a whole other box of giveaway stuff that it just got buried back there and I forgot about. So it could be for giveaways. It could be happy mail. Either way, I forgot about it. And then these. Okay, when I cut the end off, sometimes I keep that because you can put a journal in it and then mail the journal. This came with shoes probably. You should keep your packaging, like your Amazon envelopes, they're great, but maybe I've gone too far. You see, it's become a cupboard of shame. smell that great. I should have painted the inside of it too. And some people have given me great ideas about this cabinet and I could, I could do that. Maybe while we're emptying it out, I'll paint the inside. I do not know when I put this in there or what I thought I was going to do with it. So the top drawer, you know what's in there. I'll make all that go away. This is bling and sequins. I used to keep it all on the counter, but it just got to be too much. Oh, the counter and one drawer. Then that drawer got full and I put it over here. That's why several months ago you saw I made a list and one of the things I put on it was that I didn't need bling. It had gotten away from me. Oh, some beads that I didn't know were in there. So I'm going to take all this stuff out too. This is journal making supplies. That's what my phone books are for. Phone books are very important. And my glue gun, which I almost never use and wouldn't have been able to tell you was in there. And a ridiculous amount of eyelets that actually Leona and Andrea and I were talking about recently. So I'm gonna set these out for Andrea. Some more eyelets. These were in here because I thought when I made journals, I would use eyelets to put the stretchy string through. And then I found, I don't know that I always need a stretchy string. And I certainly don't, I mean, how many journals was I planning to make if you use one eyelet per journal? Good heavens. Here's some really cute paper clips. I bet I was thinking I'll put those in there and then I'll add them to journals. Well, I forgot they were in there. Here are the glue sticks. So we made some progress. Okay, so journal making supplies, if I had understood the definition, maybe if I put them in a clear box all together so that when I pulled it out, I saw them, that might work. <laughs> this bottom drawer, like, did I think I was gonna spend every single day sending out happy mail? Here's what happened. I watched all those videos where people make beautiful embellishments for swaps and they package them in these clear bags and it looks like they're brand new and they bought them at the store. So I have nice bags that I saved. These weren't like, you know, they weren't the torn or the scratched or anything. I had sorted them by size and I put them in this drawer. Then I probably remembered to use some, but then, you know, I didn't send this much happy mail. Most of what I send, like I send out a lot of journals or big sets of cards, they don't work. I don't think I'm the kind of girl that's gonna sit around and make embellishments that are matchy and then mount them and put them in a package and put them back bag topper. I, 
I don't think that's my style. And I think swaps, like making four or five of the same thing, that's not really me. So figure out what is you. I do use stuff out of this drawer just to put like the additional accessories for a no paper left behind project when I'm going to send it to you. Like if there were extra die cuts and, and you won the cards or the journal, that kind of thing. So sometimes I use them, but I won't use nearly that many. This is a whole box of giveaway happy mail type stuff, right? It's been sitting there. This is how long it's been sitting there. Okay. This is April and this was from probably July. So maybe, maybe I need some work here. I'm using a lot of space in my room for packaging and happy mail. And the reality of it is I don't keep the things I would send you. I keep my done projects on the other side of the room. I grab them, I mail them. I never look in all these drawers. What I desperately do need, now I'm gonna show you, it's embarrassing. Is this how you store your dies? Yeah, no joke. Let your eyes focus on it for a minute. I kid you not. I have dies in there. Have some that got away that are just right here sitting on the counter. I have some dies in here. Oh, I have some other random stuff in there. Then I have more dies on that magnetic strip, which I like the idea of I should not have gone down. I should have gone horizontal. And then some on that frame right there. And then I probably have some more in the drawer where I keep my stamps. But this thing, it, it just does not work to dig through. I mean, you just... You can't find anything in there. So, I'm going to take this all apart, and then I'm going to bring you back and show you the solutions. I know that things get worse before they get better, but even I was a little rattled in the middle of this project. I did prime the inside of the cupboard. The magnetic strip came from Amazon. I unrolled it and laid it across the top of my cabinet. Don't do that. If you lay yours out, be sure it's flat. And then we hung it up on the wall using a level and some tape to mark level and a staple gun. It just took two of us. Three might have been handy, but two was enough. If we were shopping with Abandon, I would buy trim boards, probably paint them blue and trim around it like a door frame almost. Probably it would just take two pieces of trim and I'd be fine. My piece of magnet is two feet by five feet long. And I'll put this in my Amazon store so you can link in the description to all my videos or my newer ones. It takes you to my Amazon store and you can get it. I got the five foot long piece. The 10 foot long piece is only $10 more. So if you think two friends want to share it, then get that one. I take a Sharpie and mark my dies that go with stamps because I don't keep them together. This is how I arrange them on the wall. A couple of these are Noni's, but for the most part, these are mine. And I got too close to the edge when I laid mine out. So if I went to put the trim board on, I would have to move some of my dies. So you might want to keep that in mind if you lay yours out. Like my numbers across the top and the bird cage and that sort of thing. Noni has one of these and she put hers in a big painting frame on the wall. I like it, but I didn't have one, and so I just put mine on the wall. And fortunately, my walls aren't fancy. I'm putting the stuff back in the cabinet. I did put the mailing supplies down there just like they were, but I put them in a tub so I could pull it out and see all the mailers I had at once. And then I'm trying to put my cutting mats and that kind of stuff in the top drawer there so it becomes a die cutting station. That shoebox on the left that I'm piling up is stuff that I think should go out to the shop. I haven't used it or I don't need it. I'm putting my small magnet frame from Noni in there. I don't know if I'm going to leave that out in the shop. I'll probably bring it back in, but I just wasn't sure if I wanted it for right now. And I made it so that mailing supplies and happy mail stuff takes up less room in this cabinet. And in the end, the top shelf in the cabinet 
is empty. I'm just going to put a clear bin in there. I did put all the sequins and bling back in the drawer. I was going to put them in a box and then I knew if they were stacked up, I would only use the ones on top. I put all of the journal supplies, the clips and stuff in a box so that I'll just pull it out and use them together. While I was tidying, I was grouping like items. So that's why I'm getting stuff out of the other drawers too. And then I had a little trouble figuring out how I was going to do the top of the cabinet because I like to have my big shot pulled towards me so that I don't have to lean over when I'm die cutting. There you saw me, I plugged in the sewing machine. I put the cords down, hanging down, and then I can plug it in. Okay, watch this. When I went to edit this, watch Wilson in the lower left corner. Look at that giant dog. He arranges his blanket with his nose. He never uses his feet or his teeth. He only uses his nose. And I wish that the camera had been a little lower because he doesn't like to be watched when he does this. And I do not think I have this on video. It's pretty funny. And then watch what happens when I walk back over there. So I'm not paying attention at all. I'm thinking about how am I going to organize? How am I going to shove all this ribbon in this drawer? That's a problem for another day. And then I turn and he goes, whoops, and circles. So I have a basket of stuff that I put back there. I decided that the big shot, it has to be pulled forward because for my back, I can't lean over. It won't work for me. So I might as well figure out what's going to go behind it. If you have ideas of what to store there, might be taller. I'd love to hear them. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you got ideas. Bye-bye.